and in this week's review we're going to be testing a wireless microphone. Hello there, hello. And let's take a look see what we get in the box of the Zhuoseng WM910 UHF wireless microphone system. We get quite a few different bits of paper in here, so we get the instructions card, we have a little thank you card, we also get the user manual, and in the box we get the receiver, we get the transmitter, we get ourselves a little cold shoe mount as well, we get a couple of aerials, we have a 3.5mm to XLR conversion cable, we have a 3.5mm audio cable, we have a 3.5mm lavalier microphone, and it comes with an additional filter. We've got ourselves another cable which allows you to connect the wireless microphones to your mobile phone. So we can connect this three and a half mil into a mobile phone. Then we run our lovely microphone out of here and it should pick up the audio through the mobile. We also get ourselves a 7.1 channel sound USB sound card. So we can connect it through a USB port. We've got ourselves a headphone jack and a microphone jack. And we've got a few buttons on top which allows us to mute the microphone, mute the sound turn up and down the volume as well and a couple of LED indicators just tell you if you're getting paris of the device and if the microphone's muted or not. We have ourselves a transmitter, we've got a few buttons on the front, we've got a set button, a minus, a plus and a power button. We've got a micro USB port on the left hand side of the device. We have a belt clip on the back, we have a little bit of information where it gives you the frequency range. On top we've got the connector where we can connect our lavalier microphone. On the right hand side we've got a low cut option where we can turn it on or off. This is the little battery compartment so if you push those in pull those out it does take two AA batteries that is for both the transmitter and the receiver and to slot the batteries in once you push it in make sure you lift it up slightly that will allow it to clip into place whereas if you just keep trying to jam it in that is just going nowhere and there's every chance you're going to start breaking the plastic on the side so give it a little lift and push it in and that will slot in fine and if you're out in the bed and you run out of charging your batteries you can plug in an external battery pack and that will power both the transmitter and the receiver. All it does is power the device and allows you to use it. It doesn't act as a charger. To turn the device on, we hold down this right power button. Now it tells us how much battery we got left in the device, whether our low cut is on or off, which channel we're on and our frequency. And if we tap set, these begin flashing and we can start using the plus and the minus buttons now to change what channel and frequency we are on. We have to make sure this matches on the receiver as well. So once you find the frequency that you want, tap the set button and that is locked in place now. And if we take a quick look at the receiver, it's pretty much the same as the transmitter. We still have our battery pack on the side. We've got a mix ST on the right hand side. So we have a switch to knock that up and down. Still got the micro USB port on the left hand side. We still got ourselves a belt clip. But on top, we've got two slots here where you can put the antennas on there so you can boost the signal. And on the top of the receiver, we've got an out and a phone socket. The out allows you to plug your three and a half mil connector into there and then you plug this into your DSLR camera or camcorder and that will allow your camera to start receiving the audio when you start speaking. We also have the phone socket, which means that you can plug headphones into this and you can actually listen on the fly. So you can detect if there's a problem with the device while you're using it. So rather than filming an hour's worth of footage and getting no audio back, very useful to have one of these so you can actually listen and make sure everything's working before you start filming. And to install the cold shoe mount, you've got these little hooks on either side. So we need to make sure that those attach to this belt clip. So we wanna hook the one side on and then we want to pull the belt clip over slightly and give this a push at the same time. And that's locked in place and that is quite sturdy there, it's not going to move anywhere. Now we've got the cold shoe mount, we just put that onto the camera and away you go. And we're all microphoned up now, so we've got the lovely microphone on. We've got our little transmitter down here, we've got our receiver attached to the camera and this is the audio level you can kind of expect when you're indoors using the lavalier mic that came with the kit. We'll do a test now, we'll pull the lavalier microphone off. It's joking me master, I can't get it off. Oh hang on, oh there we go, we got it off. Right so if we talk directly into the microphone now, let's move it further away from our mouth, let's see if there's any difference in the audio. So we're currently at arm's length with the microphone. Are we still coming through clear? So I'm gonna do a couple of tests now. Obviously we've got this low cut that's available on the transmitter. So this is what the audio sounds like with the low cut enabled. So what we'll do is we'll read out this little bit of information that I've got in front of me here. We'll test it with the low cut on and with the low cut off and see if we can spot any difference. With all the necessary accessories, the wireless lavalier microphone system can be used with DSLR camera, XLR camcorder, smartphone and PC. It is widely used for YouTube live streams, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, vlog recording, interview, 
program hosting, podcast, presentation, church, wedding and education. With all the necessary accessories, the wireless lavalier microphone system can be used with DSLR camera, XLR camcorder, smartphone and PC. It is widely used for YouTube live stream, Facebook live, Instagram live, vlog recording, interview, program hosting, podcast, church, presentation, wedding, education. This is a test with low cut on. We've got some background music going as well. So let's do the same test. Let's quickly read this out. I will test it again with the low cut switched off with the music playing. One body back transmitter is triggered by one receiver. With 50 selectable wireless channels, multiple sets can be used at the same time without frequency interference. One body pack transmitter is triggered by one receiver. With 50 selectable wireless channels, multiple sets can be used at the same time without frequency interference. Right, now it's time for the old range test, so let's do this. So we're going to start taking steps backwards, we're going to count them up and see how far we can get before the microphone starts cutting out. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. Eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, eighty six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, one hundred. So we've gone a hundred steps back now. So now, if you can still hear me, we're going to turn to our side. Can you still hear me? Let's turn our back to the camera now. And can you still hear me now? And we're going to turn to our right hand side. Is the audio coming through now? And we'll face the front again and we'll start walking forwards. To be honest, it's time to get out of here because just look at the state of my trainers. Look at this, horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I've sunk in the mud. Let's go home, let's do this. Overall, we're very pleased with the wireless microphone system. It performed really well when it came to the range test. The lavalier microphone that comes with the device is decent as well. It's very easy to set up. You pretty much just turn on the transmitter, turn on the receiver, and it just automatically connects. We connected the wireless microphone system to a Samsung Galaxy S9 and we had no issues at all. It recorded the audio fine. It does recommend using a third party app to be able to use the audio, but we had no issues with the Samsung phone. We really like the fact that you can plug an external battery pack into the device, so you can pair it when you're on the go. So as long as you've got yourself a battery pack, you can still use this device and not worry about it. keep having to change the batteries. We also like the real-time monitoring function where you can connect headphones to the device and you can actually have a listen as well and make sure that your audio is coming through clear. And you haven't got too much background noise, it's gonna hinder your recording. We have the low cut option which is available on the transmitter that helps in the way of suppressing car whistling, environmental noise and wind noise which would overall make your voice sound a lot clearer. You do get yourself some really good battery life as well. You've got yourself a working time that can be up to 10 hours depending on how powerful your batteries are. And our star rating on the Duoseng Professional Wireless Lavalier Microphone System will be 9 stars out of 10.